Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. How do you like the Porsche so far, Angie? Nice. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on what I feel is a future collectible car. And you say, well, Tone, how could you possibly know that? You're absolutely right. How could I possibly know that? But I will know this. This is the last year of this car built, right? This was the first generation of the water-cooled series. It already has a following. It's powerful, it handles well, and then you throw in the C4S, which is uh, an even smaller number made, then throw in C4S Cabriolet, even smaller number made, throw in low mileage, well taken care of, beautiful condition cars, and we only have a few of those left, and this is an example of what that really is. All right, so let's take a quick peek at the quality of paint. Listen, we're talking circa 2005. This paint is really exceptional. Midnight blue, Savannah beige leather, Excellent color combination, and look how crystal clear all those letters are. Look at that, man. No matter where you put it, it's beautiful, beautiful paint. Vanna beige, full leather interior. I'm talking about door panels, dashboard, uh, the console, uh, all of that is covered uh, in full leather, which comes on these cars here. Now, this is a turbo chassis as well, and so instead of uh, the cutouts on the sides for the intercoolers, that's really the only kind of difference as far as styling of the car goes. And then you have a couple small little things, but basically what you're getting is a turbo without having to worry about the turbo expense. Here, it looks great from behind. This car is 90 feet wide. We call it the J-Lo of sports cars because it is spectacular from behind. Anyway, super functional and is considered the, the, the greatest daily driver exotic out there. And I have to agree with a lot of people because it's easy to drive, but man, you can drive it super fast and feel confident if you want to. One of the ways I buy cars is I look at the tires first. You say, well, tell them how could possibly tires matter when it comes to buying a car? Well, I'll tell you how that works. If you were just at a lease car and you were getting ready to flip it and turn it in, right, you'd be buying the cheapest tires you could get. Yes? Right. But if this is your baby, you're going to buy the nicest tires that you can buy. You're not going to overpay, but you're going to buy the nicest tires you can buy, and that's what I look at first. So this was wrapped in a fresh set of Michelins on here, which I knew right away. Somebody loved this car. The original factory caliper paint is still on here, nice and bright red right? These are the turbo twist wheels with the colored caps. These are all little options, believe it or not. This colored caps and a couple other things on here. This car is loaded up with options, but these little tiny things are what make for a different car. That's why I get so excited about them. There's some great thought that goes into the storage and things like that on this car. So for instance, this right here. This right here is a windscreen. This is the windscreen bag, all right? So this would go inside there. Or you can actually leave this in the car and it folds out of the way. So this gives you all of this space here for a couple bags of soft luggage, right? The inflator for the spare tire, I mean for the uh, tire in case you've run into some issues. But the one piece I wanted to point out mostly is this, is the authenticity of it and the originality of it. For instance, this sticker right here shows the options that would have come on the car, which we have decoded. And these stickers right here have the VIN numbers on them. Okay, showing that that's the original hood on the car and that it hasn't been an accident and these pieces have been replaced. So that's a good sign. Batteries right here, easy to get to. All of this is nicely done and it's lit, right? And it's functional and it makes sense to uh, operate it. And that's how you close the hood on these because they're aluminum and if you close them, they won't do the secondary latch because they're so light. So you just put your hand on the emblem and that keeps you from getting handprints on your car. Just a tiny little trick. This is our signature right here. We changed the gray S to a red S because it looks nice. If you don't like it, no problem. We have gray ones here. We're happy to change that back for you, but it just look kind of nice tying that all in together. All right. And in here, 
This may not seem like a big deal to you, like, hey, Tone, I'm not going to work on the car. It doesn't really matter. That's not why I'm showing you this. Why I'm showing you this is because it's so ridiculously clean in here. Somebody, obviously, has been detailing the car consistently along the way. The original decals are all still in place, right? Uh, all of the things are easy legible. The wires still look great. It's just a beautiful collector car, and these are the kinds of things I want to show you so you know what you're getting. A lot of people don't know about this right here is rollover protection. If the car starts to tilt, there's yaw sensors inside here that these will pop up, right, to protect you. A lot of cars don't have this. This is a really nice feature, right? And once they do pop up, let's say it rolled just didn't roll over, but let's just say it tilted or something, you can also just turn these knob and it come, these come right back down there right here. This right here is nice because this is the front of the convertible top. First off, it's hard, and the reason it's hard is to keep because these are high-speed cars. When this is up, it keeps the buffeting down, so you don't get real loud inside. It's a great thought. Plus, when it's down, everything's hidden and tucked in underneath, getting fresh air to the engine back there, and it just looks really nice, like putting the tuxedo on and finishing it up with the tie. So this really is a four-seater car. Lots of people throw your kids back there. The seats slide up really far, or if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to put a pet back there, these fold down and kind of make this cool look also as a, as a parcel shelf where you put some more luggage in there if you want to. Maybe you're going away for a longer weekend, put some soft bags back there. But either way, you got plenty of room here, plenty of room there. And taking the kids out of the car with the exhaust and the sounds and mowing through the gears and just the sound this car makes is a great experience. All right, so come on in here because this, believe it or not, this is what makes one of these cars really great. So I'm 6'1", so a lot of people ask me, like, what's a car that I could fit in if I'm like 6'4", 6'5"? Colin is 6'4"-ish, uh, and uh, he can drive these cars as well. He doesn't have to take his uh, flippers off to drive. And uh, he's laughing now because I'm talking about him in his scuba gear, but he understands because we both have big feet. Anyway, uh, what I love so much about this is, like that we talked about earlier, the full leather interior. That's the dash. That's these seats right here. That's the door panels. Uh, this is covered in leather. The shift and this brake handle right here, those are options. And then here, the dash, you have an 8,000 RPM TAC, right, 200 mile an hour speedometer showing uh, it's driven right a little over 2,000 miles a year. This is the upgraded audio system, the Bose sound system, which is an extra cost option as well. All nicely done in here, and this lights up. The top itself, the convertible top, full power unlatching and folding. You don't have to do anything but hold the button. It'll roll itself on up, latch itself on down. If you continue to hold it, it'll roll up all the windows as well. Everything is really super high end, super well done. Even the glove box, man, covered in leather. And that nice looking handle in there. Climate control, heated seats, power seats. It's just uh, an incredible, incredible sports car. All right, so we close up the video. We're talking about a super high performance convertible. Big tires, brakes, suspension, engine, transmission combination. This is really a, a race car ready to go, but it can be driven daily on the street with the climate control, power seats, heated seats, navigation, like all of the great things that make for a great car. Not to mention the color combination is fabulous. Anyway, if you're thinking about getting a really cool Porsche, this is the way to do it, man. Today's C4S, we're doing this video in almost 2020. Today's C4S starts at uh, 125. 125 starting with no options. This car has a ton of options on it. No options. They can be $140,000 for one. That's why this at 100, almost $100,000 less is a great, great buy. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this last year Porsche 911 C4S. And don't forget to click on the link below and you can check out the price and more description.